uh, a few episodes ago, a few videos ago, I talked about the Utah Jazz and I mentioned how the Utah Jazz were basically, I felt like a model of consistency in the NBA. Uh, the Minnesota Timberwolves are probably the complete opposite. Like besides making the playoffs in 2019, I meant not 2019, 2018, when they had Jimmy Butler, uh, for the past two decades, this team has really been uh, one of the bottom tier, just bad luck teams uh, in the NBA, um, you know, minus the Kevin Garnett years in the early 2000s, of course. But everything after that in between now has been bottom of the tier, bad luck, uh, bad GM and bad org. You know, it's and it's not even just bad luck. It has a lot to do with the organization as well, because if you're that bad for that long, you constantly are getting draft picks and hindsight is 2020, but sometimes it's not hindsight. Sometimes it's just the right decision and the wrong decision. And they've made a lot of wrong decisions when it's come to drafting players, but they made the right decision when they chose Carl Anthony Towns with the number one draft pick. And they have a cornerstone of this franchise. And it's not the first time they've had a cornerstone of this franchise. The last time was Kevin Love. He ended up leaving and going to Cleveland. The time before that, obviously, was Kevin Garnett. He did not want to leave, but Timberwolves ended up, you know, trading him to the Boston Celtics. Um, and now uh, I'm hoping that Carl Anthony Towns is not awaiting that same fate uh, in his future. I would like to see the Minnesota Timberwolves become successful someday. You know, I would like to see Cat uh, take the Timberwolves to, to 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 new heights, consistent playoff teams, possibly a playoff contender. And I think Carl Anthony Towns has the talent to do that. Carl Anthony Towns has MVP talent. Only thing holding him back is the fact that, for one, he's not the caliber of player to 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 raise the the floor of this team. Which, to be honest. <laughs> I don't know if there's anyone in the league that can, but uh, I'm not going to really use that as too much of a knock against him. But Carl Anthony Towns is still a top five center in the NBA. Uh, one of the most talented players we have in this league, and the Minnesota Timberwolves are just having a hard time building around him. The Timberwolves have really done uh, nothing this offseason at all to build around Carl Anthony Towns in any kind of way. Um, they lost Ricky Rubio and Juan Hernan Gomez, and they bought in Tarian Prince and Patrick Beverly. Um, I believe Patrick Beverly may fit well on this team, but if they're not winning, what does it matter? Uh, I don't want to say that because, you know, building chemistry and stuff matters, but this team's not good enough to win uh, no matter how hard they're competing, and that's what Pat Bev is known for. So will we see that in a losing effort if this team is a bottom lottery team like I expect them to be? Who knows? But uh, their fortunes could change. You know, Anthony Edwards had a very, very good rookie year last year, which was outshined by LaMelo's rookie year, who uh, won rookie of the year uh, last year. D'Angelo Russell just has to stay healthy. Um, I think he's really good. Uh, I know a lot of people don't really appreciate his game, but D'Lo is really good. He could put the ball in the hoop. But D'Lo may not even be uh part of this team for too long um carl anthony towns on media day discussed how you know every it seems like every year every off season something goes wrong with the timberwolves and he laid them all out and he said he was thinking to himself like this year like man it's a quiet off season for the timberwolves then they fired their uh i believe it's either their general manager or president of basketball operations excuse me if i'm you know not sure which one, but uh, that person wasn't willing to give up D'Angelo Russell in a Ben Simmons trade and the replacement that they're bringing in or the interim that they're bringing in uh, is willing to do such. It, well, not, he didn't flat out say he's willing to do do that, but did say uh, he will do whatever it takes to get Ben Simmons on the Minnesota Timberwolves team. That's the report. If that's the report. I feel like that means D'Angelo Russell will be available for the Philadelphia 76ers to get in the Ben Simmons trade. Now, granted, 
that's not where the trade ends. The Minnesota Timberwolves will have to add more. How much more they'll have to add, I don't know. This team is already not very good. Um, it's a little dry on talent. Um, you don't want to you don't want to give up too much. Uh, I talked about how Minnesota had a quiet offseason. Most of that is because regardless if you have cap space, most people don't want to come to Minnesota, which I understand. You know, the organization doesn't have a great history. Uh, a lot of people probably don't want to live in the city. They prefer, you know, some, most of the hot weather. But, you know, you got to do what you got to do. And I think a trio of Ben Simmons, Cat, and Anthony Edwards will be really good. Um, with Pat Bev, playing, they won't really have a – well, Ben Simmons can play point guard. Ben Simmons is a playmaker, let me say that. But uh, a lot of people seem to think that Ben Simmons will be best used at power forward. I think otherwise, I think he's best used as a point guard, but we'll see if the Minnesota Timberwolves are able to acquire him, what that would look like. Uh, I don't know. I know Cat is probably one of those players who understands that it is a business. NBA is a business. Things happen, but him and D'Lo are very close. And if you watch that video of D'Lo getting off the plane when he got traded to Minnesota, uh, the, the happiness that they felt that they were finally playing together uh will trading D'Lo for Ben Simmons hurt the relationship between Cat and the Timberwolves organization because if it does is it worth it is it worth trading D'Angelo Russell for Ben Simmons man for one you don't even know if this will make the team successful you don't even know if it'll work so with that on the line you're possibly risking your relationship with Cat now granted you know a good organization would go to Cat first and say, hey, you know, this is what we think about doing. I know you have a relationship with this guy. Uh, <clears throat> would this be a problem for you? I don't know if the Timberwolves would do that. Like I said, good organization would. Uh, I feel like the Timberwolves in some way are a good organization or Cat probably wouldn't even want to be there at all. So there must be some sort of relationship there. So I feel like they would come to him with that information before pulling the trigger on that trade. But uh, right now, in my opinion, the Timberwolves are the favorite to land a Ben Simmons if a trade was to happen. Um, <clears throat> hopefully sooner rather than later. You don't want to get halfway through the season, then something like that happens. But uh, I don't expect a Ben Simmons trade anytime soon, uh, to be honest, the way the Philadelphia 76ers are, you know, uh, basically got the safety on the trigger right now, and they're not going to, they're not going to take the safety off. Um, but uh, moving into the season, I don't see a bright future for the Minnesota Timberwolves. I would like to see these players develop more. I would like to see Cat develop more. Uh, what Anthony Edwards is going to do in his sophomore season, what D'Angelo Russell is going to do if he can stay healthy this season, uh, Josh Okoge, who's a decent player. Uh, you know, I, I, I like to see these things, even if they're not winning. There's some reasons to watch the Timberwolves at times, you know. Uh, I still like to see player development. That's still something that's important. Winning is not – winning is important, but if a team isn't winning, that doesn't mean the team doesn't have a purpose. Development, stuff like that, seeing players get better, the future stars of this league. So uh, if you're a Minnesota Timberwolves fan, God forbid, I wouldn't know what would make you one of those. But comment down below. Let me know how you feel about the offseason. Let me know how you feel about a Ben Simmons trade involving D'Angelo Russell. Do you want Ben Simmons on the team? Would you rather have D'Angelo Russell? Let me know down below. Leave a like on the video. Hit the subscribe button and ding the notification bell so you know when your team video drops next. Check out the uh, 30 Days of Hoops playlist hovering up around here somewhere. I'll holler at y'all tomorrow, man. Peace.